All right, I'm gonna do a little video here showing you guys how to uh, set up a trolling spread on a small boat. We're here at uh, Catalina Island this morning. It's uh, 19th of October. It's, uh, three fish hooked in this area yesterday, so we're uh, giving it a try. So Jimmy, why don't you tell me a little bit about your spread and what you got going here? Okay, well, one of our buddies, Bobby Hoos, was out here yesterday and he had three bites in this area. We're a 100 fathom curve right off the front side of Cat. On our boat, we troll short on the starboard side. We got the, the squid chain on the first wave, the short flat lines on the second. What, what lure you got on that one? That's a, uh, what is it? It's a 3.5, I forget what they're called. Well, I'll, I'll think of it eventually. All right. It's a little flat 3.5. And then, uh, so it's something to just kind of chug back her a little bit as opposed to a swimmer. Yeah, exactly. With a pusher. And then we got a, a Berkeley, or it be the 7-strand 1220 on the outrigger. It's got a slant and a scoop. It's more of a swim. So on your outrigger, you're running the uh, follow line, pull down outrigger. Take them on and off the boat, they lay down flat on the transom when we're not using them. Right, they're like they they call them the Hawaiian style outriggers. They're perfect for the small skip. Gets the bait just far enough away, just rides in that little foam line back there. That one's usually right around the fourth wake back. And then uh I got a lolly, they call it a lollipop, a mean Joe Green. It's a kind of a looks like a drumstick actually on the fourth wake back and And on the very far far out rigger back, we have a, almost the same jig as on the other side, but it's in pink. And you stagger these wide? Uh, if a fish comes into the spread, you don't want all your jigs in the same spot. You want to have it short, medium, long, longer. So if he comes in, there's a, a wide area of jigs for the fish to get around. He's going to run into out. one here. So the reels you fish are the 10 fathom 40 single speed. Right, low gear. I think they're 541, something like that. 30 pound mono. 30 pound high vis mono, 120 pound wind on leader, and then a short five foot piece of 120 pound uh, leader to the jigs. Right. Now, why don't you talk about your drop back bait setup real quick here? Drop back setup. I got a lever drag pen. Same thing, it's a 25 narrow on a rain shadow rod. My buddy Eric wrapped for me. This is an 80 pound wind on leader here. To what are, these are the swivels that I like. They're real small. If you pop one off, it comes back and hits you in the face. It won't hurt, hurt you too bad. And then I use the uh, circle hook. Right, right. Into the front of the face. And use the ball bearing swivel there so that it doesn't get twisted up. Uh, you don't want this thing to swim around and get all twisted up in the tank. So it's not the place to use a barrel swivel. Right. Yeah, because then your bait will just wind itself up. Real important though, just to, especially today because everything happened on the squid chain and the short jigs is <coughs> always have somebody looking at it. Right. Which is nice having the autopilot on the boat because we can just glance ahead because we're not really looking for feeders or sleepers right now and just keep focused on the jigs in case something pops up you can get the drop back bait right to them. And we're focusing on this 100 fathom curve because that's what's aggregating the bait, right? Right, this is where all the bait was yesterday. A lot of anchovy, little sardine. Uh, Bobby found a swordfish uh, floating in here yesterday and had three bites, released two fish and you know, Six, six or seven hours of fishing. Right. So looking at the chart here, we're kind of getting off of it here. We're trying to stay in that 600 foot depth. We're going to adjust the autopilot over to keep us riding right on that edge here. You know, see we crept off it a little bit, but we're going to just hug the, the, the contour lines there show that it's uh, the drop off at 600 feet. So we're just kind of hugging that. We're looking for birds, we're looking for signs of life, and uh, hoping to catch a marlin. So uh, thanks, Jimmy. Oh, you're welcome.